Okay. Mr. Okay. Hold on. Let me put the PowerPoint up. Oh, I need to share my screen, don't I? Uh, right here. Yep. That's not. There you go. No. No. Oh man. Escape. Where's the view? View? Percent. Okay. Oh, What? This thing? Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, right here? Well, hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about the technical delays. Uh, my name is Hayden O'Rourke. I'm the uh, president and founder of the Kappa Delta Pi chapter here at Drex University. Um, that's Madison Russell. She is our vice president. This is Heather Tanner. She is the treasurer. Um, I'm a junior. Madison's a junior. Heather's a junior. We're all in co-op. Uh, before we get started, um, I want to introduce yourself and kind of graduate, undergraduate, that kind of thing real quick. Um, I'm going to go first. Welcome. Caitlin, and I'm a Awesome. Welcome, Caitlin. Um, all right, so we're going to get started real quick just so we can, for timing. <sighs> okay, so uh, what is Kappa Delta Pi? We are an international honor society for educators. We were founded in 1911, and this is more of a professional society for educators and kind of like professional development. Um, kind of, it was just founded in 1911 at the University of Illinois, and that there have been Numerous chapters started recently, and chapters who have been around for over a hundred years. Our chapter is recently chartered back in June, so we are very new. And something kind of special about our chapter is that we were the fastest to get chartered. So uh, we had our um, application approved in March, and we held a initiation ceremony in June. So the turnaround was pretty quick, other than most chapters. Um, currently, um, if you are from the area, we have partnerships with Westchester University, Eastern University, and St. Joseph's. Um, we're kind of working together collaboratively, so we're not just working by ourselves, we're working with other ch KDP chapters to kind of like expand your network of meeting other teachers, graduate students, and undergraduate, and kind of just learning about how other chapters work, and that's kind of why we have done that. So we have expanded our growth. So, um, Basically, this is the mission statement for the whole organization. Um, so basically, Kappa Delta Pi advances quality education, inspiring teachers to prepare learners for future challenges. So that's kind of what we do. We're creating, we not only have professional development events that um, kind of help solve some of the issues that we see in our education classes where we bring in teachers, bring in um, administrators to kind of discuss what kind of challenges they see and what can we do as future teachers to change that. That's kind of what we do um, in this organization. Um, so KDP, so Kappa Delta Pi, uh, knowledge, duty, and power, those are the three pillars of our organization. Um, and the founding ideals are right there, science service, science, service, toil, fidelity to humanity, and that is our seal. And if you notice, we have uh, our like mascot is a bumblebee. I know, I know, it's huge. It's a bumblebee. <laughs> bumblebee is pretty cool. All right, so just a little more about Kappa Delta Pi is that this is our founder, John Dewey. So I don't know if you guys learned about John Dewey in your education classes, Foundations 101. So this is the guy right there. Look at that, the laser pointer, too. Um, and kind of the first chapter, again, was founded in um, Illinois. And kind of you're joining, you know, if you choose to apply, um, you joining one of the elite groups of educators who were part of this organization. So um, John Dewey, Jean Piaget, who is a famous psychologist, uh, Howard Gardner, again, Gardner is eight, um, Eleanor Roosevelt, George Washington Carver, Albert Einstein. So again, you're joining an elite group of educators who've been in this organization. So it's really nice to have that because we are nationally recognized. Uh, and if you tell anyone that I'm part of Kevin Delta Pi, um, they would know it or you can tell them it's an honor society. And that's kind of raised the bar on your resume. All right, so what can KVDP do for me? 
Um, so one of the member benefits that we have is that, um, what's your name again? I'm sorry, Brian? Yeah. Brian, are you currently a teacher right now? No, not yet. Okay. Um, so if, if you are a teacher, I think, let's say a charter school, for example, so you don't need a teaching license particularly, um, some of the benefits you can have is that when you show your induction card, you get discounts at teacher stores, you get discounts at hotels, you go to conferences. So you get a lot of benefits. Um, you also get access to academic journals. So when you graduate, you won't have access to the Drexel Library System. And so one of the things that you can get access to um, the KDP academic journals. So higher education, you know, elementary ed, that kind of thing. Um, you also get access to the conferences. So in October, um, we have a, a conference in Pittsburgh. And so members can go. Uh, full of, you know, teachers discussing latest education trends, that kind of thing. Um, so it's really great benefits. Um, even as an undergrad, you still get the benefits of like travel um, resources as well. So it's really, really nice to have. And again, 20% um, off like school supplies. You're also eligible to apply for grants and scholarships. So when you do have your own classroom, you can use KDP and, you know, apply for grants through Cap at Those Pines. All right, um, so again, kind of hitting off of those points. So in order to become a member, you obviously should attend the initiation ceremony. Um, you are provided honor cords and, you know, at your part of your graduation gown. Um, we are looking at, all, you know, offering awards for our members. We're still growing, so we haven't, you know, solidified these. Um, opportunities yet but again some of these things that you can apply right here so like this these are KDP um, opportunities that you can apply for um, so again a lot of member benefits so there's more than just being part of the Drexel chapter you're part of a big chapter of other KDP members so we have about a million chapters a million students over you know 50 states so again you can find a KDP chapter anywhere contact them whatever so it's really really cool all right so how do we join KDP? Well, you guys made the first step in that you guys were recognized for your academic excellence either after freshman year or during your graduate study here. So the minimum GPA requirement for the Drexel chapter was 3.35. Um, that's kind of how we set the GPA higher than the national GPA. Um, you have to be a sophomore, so if you uh, have met that requirement. Graduate students, you already have that requirement met as well, so 3.4 GPA, and again, full graduate standing. Um, if you're alternative certification, which I don't know, are you, you're in the teacher ed program, correct? Okay, so you're not alternative. So alternative certification is open for students who are in like um, Dragons Teach, so if you're an engineer and you're taking education courses, that kind of thing. All right, so um, this kind of hits off what I mentioned, the member only discount. So again, you have hotels, um, insurance, classroom supplies, books, etc. You, you can use that KDP membership beyond, you know, than just, you know, applying. You have, there's a wealth of information on your account when you apply. Um, you can just, again, access these journals, get magazines, you can buy clothing, that kind of thing. And again, scholarships, more than 30,000 scholarships were added, awarded to KDP members last year. So we can apply for scholarships as a chapter. You can apply scholarships as an individual, that kind of thing. And we can recommend you for scholarships. So if you do outstanding service, um, if you do something noble, we can nominate you. Again, classroom teacher grants, I kind of hit, hit on that before. Um, so again, you can apply for 150 to, I'm not, you know, as much money as possible that's awarded. Um, so you can apply for anything. So there's a lot of opportunities with Kappa Delta Pi. Um, and, you know, Drexel University itself, we have opportunities, but on a national level. Again, we already talked about that. All right, so this one, um, Literacy Alive. So I'm not sure if you guys work with reading at all. Um, one of the major components of KDP is having a community-based literacy event, uh, kind of highlighting the importance of reading in the community. Um, we're still working out our Literacy Alive program, but what we have seen in most schools is that they've had, like, application workshop for juniors, um, a theme day based off the book, that kind of thing. Uh, the main thing is that we want to promote reading. You know, reading's important, and that's kind of what our chapter's doing. Uh, we're gonna have our Literacy Alive event in uh, March, so spring term. 
and basically um, we just want to you know celebrate reading so we're looking for members to kind of contribute ideas about what can we do to have a literacy a live event that promotes reading that can be fun and that can benefit the West Philadelphia community or areas outside of it um, and again one of the things that KDP offers to us is that we can earn a scholarship or you know money that goes towards it so we can have you know a big successful event um, so this is a great opportunity um, professional development so we mentioned um, we host our own professional development we KDP itself has professional development that you can go to for free um, continuing act 48 credits um, when you do get your teaching license you have to maintain that teacher status um, so they have webinars um, they have things from you know classroom environment setting up the classroom um, you know special education seminars so it's a lot of great things that they provide for free so it's all part of your KDP membership so you'll get a you get a million emails from them saying you know cultural workshop come you know listen to this webinar things like that so it's really great to um, kind of just hear what's going around in the education community all right so our local chapter it's up um, so we are the Alpha Theta Chi chapter we are the 890th chapter to be installed in the KDP program um, one of the components of Kappa Delta Pi is service hours. Um, you need to have 25 service hours by the end of the year. And service hours kind of need to be in an educational setting. There's an education on our society, so it has to be education related. So we've had, we have students um, working at a nursery, at a museum, doing things like that, kind of getting out on the community, helping out. Um, so we have our, our current members are kind of going out in the communities and being unique. Um, and our, our current um, kind of partnership that we're working towards is the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Um, they have a hospital school program and they have about six, two spots, two or three spots left where you can volunteer in their school they have for students who are very sick. You can't go into the, their own schools. So one of the things that they do is that they have students come in, volunteer, read, work on lesson plans, that kind of thing. Um, so this is the executive board. Um, so Heather Tanner is right there. She is our treasurer, as I mentioned. That's me next to her. Alex Pepper, who is not here right now, he's the graduate student uh, liaison, and he's also the volunteer coordinator. So any questions regarding, you know, volunteer hours? What can I do? Um, that's his role. Um, Madison Russell, vice president, and uh, Jadzia, who is not here right now. She is the secretary, um, and then. All questions or concerns can go to our KDP email, so it's kdp at drexel.edu. Um, are you from the Philadelphia area? Okay, um, so we have opportunities all the time for like volunteering. Um, so I think we have a current one with Gerard College in their writing lab, so you can help students work on their writing. Um, we also have Breakthrough Philadelphia where you can teach on the weekends. Um, so we have always we always have a lot of opportunities with students to get out and, and you know involved in education. Um, so again, volunteer opportunities. Um, Children's Scholarship Fund is uh, just a funded program that helps students apply to private schools. Um, they have opportunities throughout the school year. Um, so they are mainly held in the Philadelphia area. And then we also have the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the Girard College um, Writing Center. So. Um, you all been invited to apply. So you have the application online. It's, not, it's due October 15th. Um, there's three um, open-ended responses that, that are part of that application. We'll review it and then we'll get back to you. In order to be a full member, you have to pay membership dues. So those membership dues are right here. It's $45 for a one-year membership and $82 for a two-year membership. We also have local and initiation fees. Um, our local fee is $10 and our initiation fee is $10 as well. Your initiation fee is paid once and your local dues are paid every year. Um, we have our large induction ceremony uh, spring of 2018. Um, last year we had it in June. We had a lot of people come out from all over the area and it was a really nice event. Um, so you'll be in, you know, you're you know, once you get accepted this quarter, you'll be a member. However, you won't be, a, be officially a member until June, you know, May or June of next year. 
Um, so again, just kind of, you know, being part of Capital Supply is basically, you know, it's great to put on your resume. However, we want you to be, make sure you're active. So whether you're online, in person, um, we want you to be, you know, giving us ideas. Um, are you having trouble with buying volunteer opportunities? Or is there something in your area? It's kind of like that. We want you to be involved. We've had plenty of members who are from all over. We have members from seven states. And um, they've been telling us about what they're doing and things like that. Um, one of the coolest things that we just started is a pen pal program with Hills Friedman World Academy. It's a special admission school. Um, so we have member, we have 19, 17 KDP members from three states and from Pennsylvania, kind of working to you know create a partnership with the school, but help the kids who are in the junior class get through junior year. And it's a great service opportunity. Um, one event that we are having that you guys are invited to come out to is our back to school night. It's Tuesday, October 17th at 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to be having three teachers come in and kind of discuss what it, what goes into planning the classroom, how do they work on building a positive classroom environment, what they do to, you know, contact parents. So it's unique in that we have two city, uh, two city schools um, teachers and we have one suburban teacher. So we kind of have two different viewpoints. Um, we have a teacher from West Philadelphia and a teacher from Pat Pearl Horsham and the other teacher is out on 50th Street. Um, so that's really exciting. And we also have, we're planning a fundraiser in November. Um, so we kind of, you know, just, you know, looking to raise money so we can have, you know, a trip or kind of have, you know, a larger event where we can, you know, a big induction, that kind of thing. Okay. I think that might be it. Um, we're going to open it up to questions. Great. So. Uh, hi. Stop sharing. Where? Stop sharing. Ooh. I just said stop. Okay. Uh, chat. Okay. All right. So, does anyone have any questions? Um, if you guys have questions online, you can type them in. If you guys have questions in person, you know, you can ask them right now. <laughs> uh, any questions or? Just you good? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's an honor society. I think the main thing that we want to highlight is that their service hours part of this, um, and we kind of want people to be unique with their service hours. Um, we will help you find service hours if you can't, but um, that's kind of the main thing about our organization. Um, so that's kind of it. Um, and if you have questions about the application, just email us, uh, and we'll get back to you real quickly. Yeah, when it comes to the volunteer services. Um, so if you guys want to stay, you can stay. If not, you're free to go. If you have any questions, I'll be here. Honestly, you know, why not? Are you, you know, get to know us? Get to know me. We're get to know our, we're, we're a fun crew. Um, but with the questions, there, uh, there's always opportunities everywhere, especially if you're in the Philly area. And um, I know Breakthrough, I think, is on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, our pen pal program is kind of just like an ongoing thing. Um, what else is there? But we're, we're always looking for new opportunities. So um, we, we're always uh, have, we have listings everywhere on our uh, Dragon Link. We're yes. very yeah, updated nice Thank you. on a regular basis. And then we also do send out emails and we do find out new opportunities. So um, we just, there are some on the weekends and we, we're always looking for more opportunities for all of you, so we um, try our best. Also, Sarah, since you work in a school, you can volu you can volunteer in school. So if you have a uh, contract, you have and you're required to work two events, you have to go beyond what your contract says. And so, if there's something that you aren't currently volunteering for, you can do that. So if any of you guys work in a school, you can. Um, can they see me? Can they hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Okay, so yeah, so if you work in a school, you can, okay, yeah, so if you work in a school, you can volunteer at your school to make it easy for yourself, if that makes sense. Does anybody else have any questions or anything you would like to know? Hmm? No, nothing. You can unmute people if you want. Did you mute them? I did. 
We're gonna unmute you guys, so if you guys, you know, you can talk to. Who? Uh, I work. Okay, that's working with student groups. You can just work out. Uh, hmm. Um. The current members. We have 44 current 46. members. 46. 46. We have 46 current members. Um, to answer your question, Sarah, um, it would kind of be after school kind of work um, during the school day. If you're getting paid, obviously it won't count as volunteer hours. Uh, if yeah, so it'd have to be um, an after school, like if you tutor students, um, oh, before school, okay. Oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that yeah. Count. as long as, as long you're not as, getting paid. Yeah, as long as you're not getting paid and it's not required in your teacher contract or whatever kind of contract you have with the school. Awesome. Awesome. Any other questions from anybody? All right. Well, thank you guys for coming out. Yes, thank you so much for uh, participating, and uh, we hope to see all of you join and everything. We look forward to reading your applications. So yes, make sure you get them in October fifteenth by midnight. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, and have a great night.